Hi, my name is Paweł Spechalski and welcome to INAP Troubleshooting. Today something for the fixed wing flyers and especially for the ones who are flying, uh, flying wings. A uh, few months ago when we released next version of uh, INAP, I don't remember the exact number, 818 I think, uh, there, there started to appear a new problem. I am not getting full servo deflection on my ailerons on the flying wings and sometimes also on the traditional airplanes. This is not a bug. This is not a software bug. There is a reason why you might not be getting a full servo deflection and you probably will never get full servo deflection while testing the airplane on your, on your bench on the ground and I will show you why. The first element of not getting full servo deflection on the flying wing and especially on the flying wing is mixer. Mixer uh, in the older versions of INAV had a bug that gave each axis 100% authority over a servo. It was not a critical bug, it was just a misunderstanding of how the mixer should be working. Think about it like this. When you have a flying wing you have only two ailerons they are both responsible for both pitch and roll so you have a stick if you push your stick forward then both ailerons should go down so that it pitches down if you roll one goes up second goes up the problem with the older mixer in INAV was that it was giving 100% authority over a servo for one axis. So for example, when you requested full roll on the axis, it saturated the servo. It requested full deflection, for example, 2000 microseconds on the servo. And this one servo, driving one uh, of the ailerons, had no authority for the pitch anymore. Pitch was no longer able to interact with this uh, single this single servo other way around if you request that full dive with a stick forward for example the pitch axis was once again saturating this servo and making it not working anymore with the mixer back fixed right now roll axis has only 50% of uh, authority over a servo and pitch axis also has only 50% authority. This is why when for example we have a stick and we move the stick to the right, the right stick controlling the uh, roll and pitch, right now the right aileron and the left aileron will only deflect at 50% and this one will also deflect at 50%. Now, if we will move the stick to the for forward, once again, this will work at 50%, this one will work at 50%. But when we will do something like this, requesting 100% on roll and 100% on pitch, right now, what's gonna happen? In this moment, the servo still has the missing 50% uh, of the authority and this servo will get 100% deflection and this servo also will get 100% deflection. This is why even when you are rolling hard or pitching hard, the other axis still has some authority and is able to react and make your flying wing fly better. The second reason for why you might not be getting and you are not getting the full servo deflection is how the PIF controller in the INAF works. This is goes from proportional, this is integral and this is fit forward. I will not talk about fit forward right now and I will not talk about proportional. We will concentrate only on the integral integral part of the stabilization PIF controller inside. Integral 
is responsible for long lasting error the long lasting error is the key here by long lasting i mean lasting more than 10 milliseconds or something so when for example the airplane is not perfectly balanced and is slowly rolling right then the i term the integral part of the controller will be able to counteract this slow roll the integral part of the pif controller is not active when you are not armed and since usually you are not armed while testing on the bench uh, you will not observe the effects of the integral part of the pif controller this is why you are not never almost never getting full servo deflection while testing your airplane on the ground if you really want to test if this is really working do something like this remove the propeller because we never test anything with the propeller arm the airplane move throttle up throttle down and then you will see that if you tilt it the servo movement the control surface movement will be much higher than before but this is happening only after you arm the airplane and you move throttle up so that controller thinks you're actually flying then this arm and observe the servo movement will be much slower so really don't don't be afraid of the low servo movement while on the ground it's fine it's because a we fixed a mixer bug causing servers to saturate and second of all integral part of the PIF controller is not active on the ground when those two things will act together while flying everything will be fine everything will be smooth the airplane will be flying just fine if you really 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 think that you need a bigger uh, control surface movement there are two things one increase the mechanical control surface throw by adjusting the servo horn so the smaller movement of the servo will cause the bigger movement of the control surface this is a servo horn this is a control surface and the control surface horn and uh, something that connects the servo with the control surface if you want the bigger movement of the control surface with the smaller movement of the uh, servo you have to either a attach the push rod lower on the control surface or try to attach the servo uh, sorry the, the control rod higher on the servo horn this is why even smaller movement of the servo horn will cause much bigger movement on the control surface the second thing you can do to increase the control surface movement is to increase the servo throw in the software you do it in a quite simple way like always go to the configurator go to the servo tab not sensor sorry go to the servo tab and here you have on the servo rate right now i'm using 100 percent rate of the servo if you will increase the rate to minus 125 or sorry sorry about that or 125 the servo throw will be increased by 25 percent in on the other hand you have too much of a servo throw and for example the control surface is hitting something while moving you can lower the rate to for example 75 percent to counteract this behavior so to sum things up it's not a problem that you are not getting the full servo throw while moving the the roll and pitch stick on the radio it's fine this is how the flying wing mixer works really trust me on that it's completely fine besides the i element the integral element of, of the stabilization algorithm running uh, i enough is not active while on the ground when you will take off and you will start you will move the throttle up 
it will start working and it will increase the servo throw. So I hope I helped and see you next time. Bye.